Welcome to another Rockford UFS attack package series. Today we're going to be going over the multiple attack package. Um, I based off the water symbol, so uh, multiple. there's a lot of good multiple attacks in the water symbol. So let's just get right into it. Um, the, multiple sim, the multiple keyword um, states that uh, you discard X momentum, so you discard the X momentum. You bring them back face down as a copy of the attack equal to them up to the multiple rating. So if it's multiple three, you can do multiple one, two, and or three. Uh, you can choose depending on uh, what you discard as cost. And then they uh, go into your card pool face down and they become a copy of that attack uh, that has multiple on it. So let's get into the first attack. Uh, we got Windmill Punch. Uh, it's probably the, probably the premier uh, multiple attack currently in standard. Um, it gives plus one damage to all the three or less uh, printed three or less damage attacks in your card pool. That also includes multiple copies because multiple copies are printed zero. So you're getting already plus one damage to those. Um, also, you're able to, if you play another attack, then combo it, you're able to shove another copy of Windmill Punch. And you're able to shove a, co a card on top from your discard pile to the top of your deck to like uh, get a check uh, guaranteed. So moving on, uh, this is Windmill Punch's little brother uh, for the most part, uh, Bubble Lead or Bubble Lead, depending on who you talk to. Um, it has multiple two. Uh, with Bubble Man, it does get a plus one to its multiple rain for the rest of the turn, so it does become multiple three for his ability. Um, it also self generates momentum. Um, and then you get to shove a card into your opponent's card pool. So it's like Windmill Punch's little brother and Cowboy Battery's big brother, kind of combined uh, in a way. Um, it does roll two. Uh, it has fallen out of favor since Windmill Punch has come around. Usually this is just in Bubble Man because Bubble Man makes uh, more value out of this card. Next we have Finale Rosso. Uh, this is an old tried and true card. Uh, I was still playing this as of maybe like six to eight months ago. I know a few Luke Hang builds at Nats and at UK Nats had it. Um, it does um, self uh, give momentum. Uh, if you use the E, then use the combo E. So you're able to net momentum that way. And uh, it has multiple two. It does roll two. Uh, so it is a little risky nowadays uh, when cards like Windmill Punch exists. But cool thing is though, you could play this and Windmill Punch and go Windmill Punch combo Finale Rosso because it combos into a high block. Uh, next we have uh, what, uh, what was considered the premier uh, attack out of Blood Omen. That wasn't an ultra rare. Uh, Kelway Battery uh, showed, showed a lot of play in the pre-Bebop meta. Uh, it was one of the best attacks in the format. Um, mostly because it shoved a card into your opponent's card pool. It was six damage, so the, the stats were pretty good. It did roll low block, so that's pretty good. And it gave those uh, death, good, and uh, water uh, some asset hate. Other than just having, um, there was the Jetta Foundation uh, that blank, that sealed the asset. I uh, name is escaping me right now. Uh, next, we have Flying Yamato Spear. Um, this used to be one of the scariest turn two attacks. Now that it's more missile launcher. Um, What's great about this attack is, is it's attack and speed. It is a 6-I-6, six six, so it's very hard to block on turn 2. Also, you get safe. It does roll a 2 check. Uh, that's pretty much the only negative. Um, it has no other abilities other than it gives its multiple copies safe, which is kind of nice. Uh, but uh, it is pretty much prepared to fight bait, just like um, Cowboy, Battery, Cowboy Battery is. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these attacks are mids so you can't really short fuse a uh, prepared to fight um, if they block a mid so it's kind of poopy um, next attack really isn't a multiple attack per se it gains multiple via the combo uh, we do play a lot of um, mid attacks uh, multiple mid attacks so this can gain um, if you are running a uh, engine that uh, like bubble lead or cowboy, cowboy battery or there's a, uh, you know, like when Liu Kang f uh, f put cards into your opponent's card pool, you could use this get multiple X. X equals number of opponent's cards in their card pool. And then also this self gens momentum with adding copies of Bicycle Kick to your momentum. So that's why it's on the list. 
Next is Dancing Flash. Um, kind of forgotten in a way. Uh, it is it has nice stats. Uh, five mid for five. It does roll two, but it is for four difficulty, which is nice. Um, you're able to have some foundation control if you discard momentum. And then also if your character has water, which this build is kind of based on water characters, uh, you can add a foundation and it gains multiple one. And then the multiple copies gain punch. So if you're playing Felicia, you're able to get three speed and um, and it's able to, and it, um, it gets three speed and it's able to hit faster and guaranteed hit. Uh, next is Explosion. Um, it gains multiple X, X equals your momentum. So if you're a character like Bubble Man, like Felicia, like Faye, who can just net tons of momentum, um, this could end up being like a multiple six, seven card. Um, it does get Deadlock Stun 3 for some random reason. Um, and then it also is Desperation 3 if you're getting your ass kicked. Um, bad thing is though, you really need to kind of build your deck around this card um, and to be able to take full advantage of it. Now there's a couple, the next three are cards that kind of facilitate the momentum gain or the multiple gain, um, the multiple bump. Um, so next, first is pretty much Fatality. Uh, you get to play this card, get some cards out of your opponent's card pool, uh, discard pile, and then you get to have a free enhanced step where your opponent can't do anything, and then it just goes right to your momentum. So you don't have, so you can just start uh, getting snap momentum off of water, which they have some pieces, but this is the premier piece in my, um, in my opinion. Uh, next, for some snap momentum, we have Yamato Saramu. Um, if your opponent has more ready than committed foundations, you can draw a card or add the top card of your deck to your momentum. So if you really don't need the momentum, you can always card draw, which is usually really good. Um, it is a random card, um, if you're able, unless you're able to stack it somehow, um, maybe through like a windmill punch. Or, but the issue is you checked that card for the windmill punch, so you, yeah, you just kind of have to figure out a way to uh, stack your moment, stack your deck uh, with your momentum if you're able to. Uh, and then out of Street Fighters and Dark Stalkers, we have Flip Cat. Um, go, cool thing about this card is uh, it gives if you have a momentum, you can ready something. If you have two momentum, you can get a third momentum, and if you have three momentum, you can get five damage. So your opponent has to look at you having three momentum, maybe having. Um, a windmill punch, or a bubble lead, or a finale rosso in in your hand, or even an explosion. If you have tons of momentum, they have to respect that. Um, so they have to be able to either get rid of your momentum before you're able to go off, or um, just try to block as much as possible. Cool thing about this card is it is pushed up uh, one damage by windmill punch. So we're gonna go into actions. Uh, we have out of your league. Um, Really, I looked in the uh, UFS Ultra, and really the only card that would kind of, outside of Short Fuse, that would protect your uh, momentum or your multiples from, like, Prepare to Fight, um, is Out of Your League. Uh, you can use Short Fuse if it's, like, an off-zone block, but uh, Out of Your League will protect them um, better than that, because it's coming straight from your hand. Uh, there's not a lot of R-hate in uh, standard right now there are about a handful of pieces um, but this says that your opponent tries to use prepared to fight you go no uh, next we have some foundations uh, that use momentum and possibly uh, help you further your strings along um, dreaming of becoming whole uh, you're gonna have some extra if you have extra momentum you can discard it get your next checked plane attack gets plus one and then you get to ready this with the R um, so if you're playing a, a multiple a multiple attack and you have like three cards uh, um, like a multiple two and you need to and you have some extra momentum and you need to pass like uh, a flip cat so you ready this to get plus one so really you're kind of getting plus two because um, you can commit this and get plus one to play that flip cat. Next we have feigned interest. Uh, what's great about this card is it's offense and defense against multiple itself. Uh, you can commit it to. Give all the keywords on a card zero rating, or you can destroy it to give the, a card plus one to its keyword rating. So if you have four momentum and you want to go multiple four windmill punch, you destroy this, get multiple four windmill punch. Uh, one of the cards that you probably add in no matter what, if you're playing maybe like two or three, maybe if you're a multiple deck, if you're a multiple deck, you're playing this. If you're a non-multiple deck, you're and only playing like maybe windmill punch, you're probably not playing this. Um, 
But this says R once per turn if you play multiple attack ready the foundation. So you can get a multiple uses out of it. You can also uh, for committing uh, commit effects or passing checks. So it allows you just to continue your string and extend your turn. Uh, reactive styles next. Uh, it gets you snap momentum. Um, if an attack after an attack deals damage, so that's your attacks or your opponent's attacks. So you're able to um, get momentum. And then also on the flip side, you can flip the card and your opponent can discard momentum. So it's also kind of like uh, feigned interest where it's offense and defense. Another way to protect your multiple attacks uh, from being prepared to fight, or if your character you want your character to get like uh, sealed or committed, uh, short fuse really good. Uh, after your opponent uh, partially blocks your attack, you seal their block, so you flip it and they can't do anything. Um, unfortunately, if your opponent blocks one of your mid attack multiples from prepared to fight, this card does nothing. So you better hope you better hope you have an out of your league to stop the multiple discard. A couple cards that uh, kind of facilitate the momentum gen that I that I've seen play that I don't necessarily seen play, but I like to add certain things in is strength of tail. After you raised up, add it to your momentum. You go down a foundation, um, but you uh, speed up your turn uh, one turn faster or one attack faster because it's added to your momentum. And then in the same vein, uh, way of four fist first F add this card to your momentum. So. If you have both these cards out, you can use Strength of Tail to get after your ready step begins, and then as your as your combat phase begins, you can use Way of Four Fist to get momentum. Uh, this card's kind of not that great personally. It's a unique. It has no block. It's also relegated to first F. So if you have a character or another card that says first F on it, um, it's you kind of have to pick and choose. Um, the art's not that great. I remember a guy telling me he kind of looks like a goat. So, uh, but yeah, if you need extra momentum, by all means, use this. So we're going to go to characters now. Uh, first, we're going to start with probably the premier momentum character, Felicia. Uh, she adds, a, it doesn't matter if your attack hits or hits or not, it's going to your momentum no matter what. Um, she also gives your kick, punch, slams, plus three speed, and if you have two or, mo if you have two or more momentum, which you should because you're Felicia, and you're playing stuff to facilitate momentum gen, and then also, uh, if it deals damage, uh, your next check gets plus two. So she continues to push um, pressure on your opponent if they can't block. Uh, next, we have Faye. Faye is a Cowboy Buick character. Uh, she has one giant text box worth of, worth of abilities. But uh, I've seen her used in a multiple deck by Tamara Cardwell, shoutouts, uh, who won the Collinsville PTC in 2018. Uh, his deck revolved around uh, Fatality, Explosion, and windmill, windmill Punch because um, her his deck played a lot of non-blocks. Um, so what he would do is he would add with her first sentence would be, if the top card of your deck has no block, add it to your momentum. So what he would do is he would make sure there was a card. He would use multiples. He would set up his multiples as you discard them from your momentum because you can choose that. You can choose the order they land in your discard pile. And then he would play it, and then as he discarded it, there'd be a non-block on top with the Moonmill Punch, and he would add it. And he'd get he'd regen his momentum during the same attack that he used it, which is kind of neat because um, it would hit his discard pile, so he would be able to add it. Uh, next is Bubble Man. Uh, Bubble Man's kind of a higher costed Fey in a way. Uh, you have to you have to commit two foundations to add the top card of your deck to your momentum, and it's only once per turn. Um, also, he has a damage pump that he gets X damage, X equals the highest multiple rating. So that's why Bubble Lead says, um, Bubble Lead says, Bubble Man E, this attack gets plus one to its multiple rating for the rest of this turn. Next, we have Jetta. Uh, Jetta is kind of a reverse momentum deck in a way. Uh, he likes to control his opponent's momentum. So you could use that uh, to control, to give extra damage to your to your multiples if you're playing a multiple deck with them which you'd have to add a couple extra pieces just to make sure like uh, I would probably add Yamada Saramu, Fatality, um, definitely have one Mill Punch, uh, Dita De Lamento, we'll talk about that and the cards that it would add to it to the deck if you're playing certain characters. Uh, next we have Reptile. Uh, Reptile takes full advantage of having multiple attacks because he can pump his next attack played um, this turn. So he would go multiple and then play it and then he would get damage pumps for all of it and then damage and then also he would be able to take more advantage of the reveal to mid attacks in your hand 
So the more attacks he doesn't play from hand, the better he just nukes your hand. Then we have Skullman. Uh, Skullman is uh, our discard one card from hand after you play an attack with reversal. So you have to play reversals about with him a bit. And then you add the top to card of your deck to your momentum. So you could get a multiple if there was a multiple reversal, which there might be, which there is, but it's a Jetta only, um, unfortunately. So uh, we're going to go into cards that I think should uh, you could take advantage of this package, but only if you're playing certain characters. Uh, Dina de Lamento, uh, after you block with it, you can add the top card of your deck to your momentum, which is great, and then you can play it as a reversal. But Jetta really takes advantage of this because he can do multiple two on reversal. And then if your opponent has a crap ton of momentum, he's just slinging this. I've slung this for uh, three mid fives before. So it's like 15 damage on my opponent's turn that they have to respect if they're going to die. Uh, Climax Beat, it's a bad card, but it's only really good in, uh, in DJ because he gets a bunch of card draw. It does, it does have multiple three, but it's a 6 2 with non block. Which, you know, uh, Windmill Punch is a 5-3, uh, and it has a block, and it discards multiple copies. This card will never see play, but I kind of wanted to add it in for the, for the shits and giggles of it. Swallow Your Soul, um, it's a great card in combination with uh, Windmill Punch, because it add, cause after you multiple, you can gain more um, momentum if it hits. It's a good momentum gener, and it's a throw, and it's safe, which is nice. Uh, nip, you dis nip you distraction. Uh, it's own. It does net itself um, momentum if you have at least one momentum, but the multiple only comes into effect if your opponent's in deadlock. So it's really never really used for the multiple unless it's a kind of late game. And then another Street Fighter badly costed card, um, uh, Ultimate Killer Head Ram. This card's never seen play as far as I know. Uh, it has a multiple two and slam, which I don't know if that matters to anybody, but it does have a neat mill effect. This card, I think, was made in response to uh, the mature 59 decks that just played all attacks, so you would mill them out completely, unless they like uh, sighted in some foundations or uh, they mained out of your league. Uh, twin Cyclone, it's a ranged reversal, but on your turn it gets multiple X, X equals the number of Twin Cyclones in your discard pile. So this is kind of like a neat uh, a neat card that eh, may see play, may not see. I don't think I'll see play nowadays, but it did see some play uh, back in before Street Fighter. Um, just because it uh, was able to get more uh, uses, it became more valuable as the game went on because you, you were able to have Twin Cyclones in your discard pile. And then one of the famous one checks, Crit Split. Uh, this card's too overly costed for itself nowadays, uh, especially with like Dark Chirito out, stuff like that. Um, if you're able to pull off the crazy combo, uh, you get multiple two on it, multiple copies get plus three, plus three, and you have E, you get to add one card from your card pool to your momentum. So it kind of self-gens the momentum, but it's a, it's a one check, doesn't have a block. It's probably not gonna see a whole lot of play nowadays. So there you have it, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what are some of the choices you'd pick for this deck? Um, or what choices did I pick that are bad for this deck? Um, so let me know. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, uh, Jesco Games and our Patreon sponsors. Uh, we do this. We love it. And uh, look forward to, I think, the next couple. I think we got two more videos in this series, and then we'll be ending it. All right. Have a good day.